Hi guys, Mary here. Um, I was just on my way out to the gym and I realized it's been a while since I put a video out. So I thought I would come to you and talk about my day yesterday. <laughs> I know I preach a lot about staying um, in love instead of fear, you know, choosing love instead of fear. Um, trying not to be ruled by your ego and that, that sort of thing. So yesterday, something really, I'm just going to say it, pissed me off. <laughs> I live in Puerto Rico and I'm sure you've seen the tweets or whatever um, from the administration, the current administration regarding the deaths in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. And you know, I think because I live in Puerto Rico, I just really took offense to it because I watched people die here. Did they get, you know, hit by wind and die that way or, you know, no. They died from a broken heart. They died because they had health issues and there was no power and they couldn't talk to their children because there was no internet and no, you know, many reasons. Um, but the fact is, Life was lost in Puerto Rico, and for our president to come out and say that it wasn't is hurtful. Um, that being said, I let my ego get the best of me. I let my human side get angry. I wasted some time feeling, you know, I actually like witnessed my my energy, my frequency just plummet down. So you're going to have times in your life like that. You're going to have times where, you know, you're feeling all fifth dimension and you're feeling like this um, higher consciousness and you're feeling really close to spirit and the universe and one and centered and all that stuff. But the fact of the matter is that stuff's going to bother you and it's how you react to it that um, changes things. Now, I probably spent, I don't know, I would say maybe an hour, maybe a little bit more of my time just feeling like hopeless and like, you know, I see the big picture. I know things are going to get better. I know it's going to be better. I know that all of this, um, I know that things that aren't working for us anymore, things that no longer serve us, personally are breaking down but things that no longer serve us you know um, our country you know uh, the government um, systems are um, collapsing so we're witnessing the collapsing of systems that no longer work right I know that I get it and yet I let myself really be affected by the negativity so um, the important thing to know is that um, as long as you're aware of it, um, you can change it. So I was aware that I was having these feelings. I was aware that my ego was in charge, my human was in charge, and I had to sit with it and just regather myself and, um, and see the big picture and just make that change in perspective. So that's what I did. Anyway, you're human. I'm human. Um, we're doing the best we can. So you're not going to be in fifth dimension consciousness all the time. You're going to bounce in and out. And that's normal. It's completely normal. So anyway, that was my day yesterday. Um, I'm so grateful that Hurricane Isaac uh, went south of us. So we're good, just a little rain, a little wind, no big deal. Um, my heart and prayers go out to the people uh, in North and South Carolina, Virginia, parts of Georgia and Florida. Um, wherever you're being hit, um, I feel ya. My brother's in North Carolina, he's inland, so he's all right, but um, yeah, it's, it's what's happening now, and it's not... This is only the beginning weather-wise, guys. This is only the beginning weather-wise. So, um, yeah. 
I'm going to draw some cards just for a um, little energy reading for the day. And then I'll head off to the gym and um, get rid of some of this energy. <laughs> Treasure Island. Um, I love this card because I live on an island and it is a treasure. And um, number nine. So nine is, you know, we're all going through a lot of change and transition, wrapping up loose ends, wrapping up things in our um, current chapter of our lives so that we can move on um, to a new chapter. So you can see um, this is a turtle and he's swimming along. Um, and he has his treasure on his back. So it's like a treasure chest of gold and he has it on his back. So um, <laughs> wherever you are in this world, um, you are the treasure, right? So um, he's not on land, but he still has his treasure. Um, he has his house, he's a turtle. So wherever he goes, he has his house. Wherever you go, you're, you have your treasure with you. So it's not material possessions, it's not the stuff that you own. Um, I'm reminded of people who wouldn't leave their houses uh, before this hurricane. They're all worried about, you know, protecting their stuff, you know, for after the hurricane. And uh, just know that wherever you go, you carry what's important with you. In here right so uh, <clears throat> that's a good message for today and that was from Colette Baron Reed's Wisdom of the Oracle and I'm gonna pull a card from Kyle Gray's Angel Prayers this one popped out signs from heaven thank you heaven for sending me reminders of your presence so just be aware of any signs um, synchronicities numbers um, that could be your higher self or your spirit guides guiding you. Any birds, butterflies, just anything, coins, feathers. Just be aware. It's all about awareness right now, you know. Um, being aware. You know, we're human. We're going to have feelings. Just be aware of that. And um, I guess it's how you react to it, right? Or how you respond. Law of Attraction, that's that universal law of what you put out, you receive. So be sure to put out kindness, be of service to others if you can. Um, that's what this is all about right now, you guys. Um, it's not about material things. It's not about things that you can take with you. It's not about, um, it's not me, me, me. It's more of a we mentality. The me, me, me mentality is leaving and that's what you see in the White House and that's what you see that's leaving. Um, unfortunately, we have to witness it and it can be um, not so nice to witness, but um, it's all part of the growth and expansion and um, it can be polarizing, but I know that it's eventually going to bring communities together. <laughs> And for many communities, it already has. Oh, speaking of communities, uh, my daughter's friend, her sister was in one of those houses, um, in one of those neighborhoods that exploded. And uh, she got a message on her phone that told her to get out of the house. She grabbed her dog and ran. So if you get a message on your phone, um, don't disregard it, <laughs> um, quite frankly. Um, She's safe, but I know someone did lose their life. So stuff is happening. Things are happening. Um, be open. Be aware. Um, this is the Diamond Dreamer. Material wealth and true prosperity. True prosperity. What is that? So this is, I think, Spirit wants us to know with the Law of Attraction and Treasure Island. And then this card. What is true prosperity? What is true abundance? What are you grateful for? It's not the new car. It's not the new shoes. Yeah, those give you like a burst of energy and a, and a good feeling for five minutes, you know, um, but 
true prosperity, true abundance is love in your life, friends, family, neighbors, community, and being of service. That's the true abundance. That's what really fills your soul, you know, when you can do something for another. Um, just watch yourself grow. Just watch. Um, just watch what it does for you when you're of service. Uh, when I'm of service, I feel like I'm getting the, the bigger gift, you know. So, um, yeah, I guess that's my um, message of the day. Actually, it's Spirit's message of the day. I'm just the, um, I'm just the vessel that it comes through. Um, let's just pick one more card from Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light. Ah, Lord Ganesh. Yesterday was Ganesh, Ganesh Day. Um, but infinite abundance. I love Spirit. I love how Spirit works with these cards. It says obstacles are being removed, spiritual support and connection are increasing. So you're abundant. Um, maybe you don't have a big house or a car that you know, a luxury car, or maybe you don't have what you think that you need, but you are spiritually abundant. And let me tell you, you have what you need. Um, you have what you need. Be grateful for it. When you're grateful, just more and more comes. You're more and more abundant. It's that law of attraction. Feel gratitude every day. And um, you will be shocked at what comes your way. I promise you. All right. Have a great day, you guys. Um, oh, uh, if you're interested in the, in the retreat, the first retreat is, is February 21st through the 26th. There's still a couple openings. Please send me an email if you're interested. And I'm doing a payment plan, $200 a month um, to pay for it. I, I've been sampling some of the food that's going to be the, the vegetarian meals that are going to be prepared. They're delicious. I just got a bio from the woman who's going to do a shamanic journey for us. So I'll put that out on my website. Um, I have all of the yoga mats purchased, the drums. It's going to be amazing. It's really going to be great bringing people together of um, people who are like-minded. I'm working on all of the um, the courses on crystals and archangels and ascension. So I'm really looking forward to meeting you all in person. So um, there's another one. If you can't make the February one, there's another one in April. April. Um, oh gosh, fourth through the 9th. I think it's April 4th through 9th, but um, it's on my website. You can go to thelighthousemedium.com, and I'm going to be working on that website in the next couple of weeks, so um, I promise to update it for you. All right, guys, thanks for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes, and thank you so much for your lovely comments, and I, it's, been, it's been a joy to meet all of you in these readings. So, All right, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Take care.